Obviously, Army's won their last three games in uh, Dallas, so you got to be happy about that. Well, we, we, were, uh, we were just so pleased to be here, so thankful. Thanks to Brent and, and uh, Scott and everybody at the Heart of Dallas Bowl. This is, it, this is just an incredible experience for our guys. It's first class. Our guys felt like royalty uh, to be able to do the things that they did and, uh, and eat the way they did. And, and it just, they just felt very, very special to be a part of this. And, and uh, we're, we're, we're very grateful. The city of Dallas is just incredible the way they embrace this, this game and, and uh, these two teams. And, uh, I first want to give credit to, uh, to North Texas and Coach Luttrell. They did an unbelievable job. In, in today's game, of having their team prepared, they played very physical, they played very hard. Uh, they battled the whole way. And we, we had had a lead there early in the game, and, and they just, their kids didn't let up. They kept fighting, got themselves back in the ball game, and, and, uh, and turned it into just a way of a football game. It was a lot of fun, and uh, it wasn't pretty at times. We did a lot of things that, that uh, I you know, wasn't pleased with. We, we, uh, we gave up some big plays, and we had some, uh, some miscues in the kicking game, which, which is uh, agonizing to watch. Uh, had some fourth downs we didn't make and, and uh, gave him some opportunities for the shorter field. But uh, in the end, I'm just proud of our kids and the way they found, found a way to win and, and, and fought about them. All the things they talked about up here, uh, it, there, there's, a, there's a brotherhood among these guys, uh, not just the six sitting up here, but, but our entire team. They, they do love, love each other. And, uh, and that's where it starts. That's where the success starts in our program. It is right there with love and the relationships that, that they have and, uh, and our coaches have built with our players and the sense of responsibility we feel to each other to, to give our very best. And I, and I thought our guys laid it on the line and gave their very best. And what was fun was to see uh, North Texas do the same thing. I think both teams were doing that. And it was a very hard fought game, uh, exciting game. And, and, uh, and fun to be a part of, so that. Coach, talk a little bit about rushing game. 480 yards, that's the best in bowls this season. So a pretty impressive uh, rushing, especially 294 yards in the first half. We didn't throw it much, and uh, and we don't often throw it much. And usually when we're doing that, that's not very good for us. So uh, we were able to run the ball uh, successfully most of the time. And as I said, we had some fourth downs. Uh, we had a fourth and five, a fourth and four, and, and uh, we had hit some, you know, hit some long runs, pitched the ball, and got the fullback going. And uh, I thought Darnell ran really, really hard. Uh, but uh, just in those particular spots, weren't able to convert. But uh, being able to run the ball and control the clock and keep it away from from North Texas, I think, was key. And that, the, uh, that when you run for that many yards, you're doing some good things. And, and I think that that reflects on the on the uh, time of possession, our offensive line. Just, just has done a great job, and and uh, Brent and Bob, the, the two O line coaches, do a really good job coaching those guys hard, and coaching them to be tough, and and uh, you know, we're I think there's a lot of times we're not bigger than the other team. They, they had some guys inside we weren't bigger than the other guys, but uh, as Darnell said, they play with good pad lines, they play low, and they keep grinding, and and uh, so it was it was a good effort by our guys, made the difference. Talk about Bradshaw, the most valuable player. He's had uh, he's had a really good season. He what I'm so impressed with with Ahmad is uh, how poised he is. He, he doesn't seem to get rattled when things go wrong or he makes a mistake. Uh, there's times where Mitch is getting after him or I'm getting after him or he knows a play has to be made and and maybe maybe there was a a, a play just prior that he had missed a read or or uh, maybe didn't get us in the right check, but. It, it doesn't phase him. It's a great quality to have as a quarterback because uh, he just keeps playing the game and makes good decisions, and, and he's just done a, a, a terrific job for us, especially here toward the end of the, end of the season. Okay, question over here, sir. Coach Patrick has a different problem. Can you kind of encapsulate your win over Navy this win and your first winning season since 2010? Well, they're, they're, they're two entirely different games. The, uh, the, the, the Army Navy game is is a rivalry, a rivalry uh, like no other, and uh, there's so much emotion in that game, and, uh, and and it was a game that we desperately wanted to win, and we we, we hadn't uh, we hadn't won in that rivalry in the four, last fourteen tries.
guys. So just a great victory for our guys. It was very much like today. Uh, got a lead and, uh, and relinquished the lead. Or you know, Today we let them tie it up, but, but uh, kind of had our backs to the wall and, and found a way and, and got the points we needed to, to win the game over them. And, and then today, coming into this game, uh, I think, uh, as I said, eerily similar with the way things kind of went at the beginning of the game and, and how we had to finish. Uh, but I think our guys here, you, just the motivation was different. The Army-Navy game was an entirely different deal. But for today, to, to have an opportunity to win eight games, which uh, a team at Army hasn't done since 1996, and, and, uh, and to finish with a win over a team that we lost to earlier this year, I think was something our guys really were determined to do. And, and, uh, and they had as good a chance to win it as we did. They played a great football game, North Texas. But uh, I was proud of our guys for finding a way, proud of them for scoring that last touchdown in overtime and getting that stop in overtime and, and uh, being able to see them celebrate uh, a bowl victory and, and, uh, and be a champion. And uh, you know the trophy says 2016 Hard Bowl champ, Hard Dallas Bowl champions. So uh, it, it's fun for those guys to celebrate that and feel uh, the the, uh, the thrill of, of a championship.